It's the Ticket Plug. We've been running an online ticket business for over a decade, and now we've created an easy way for you to do the same thing through our private ticket resale community. Joining our community will give you a way to flip your bread and generate profit income consistently. We provide you with all the tools, training, and resources needed to start your life-changing online ticket business. Zero experience needed. To join our ticket resale community, go to theTicketTrap.com. Again, go to theTicketTrap.com. Click the link at the top line of the description to get started right now. All right, it really pains me to talk about this because I am such a huge Lauryn Hill fan. I went out on a limb and said Lauryn Hill is one of the top three hip-hop female artists of all time. I think she had probably one of the top five albums of all time with the Miss Education of Lauryn Hill. I love her. I went to go see her concert a few years ago with Nas and... Even back then, there was something weird, but I'll get to it, right? So, the Foodies in Lauren Hill abruptly, abruptly canceled their tour. Now, we all know that Lauren Hill's had a notorious history of showing up late or sometimes allegedly not showing up at all. Well, this tour was pretty much um, planned for late summer going into fall. Now, Ticketmaster has removed all the dates and ticket holders are being notified of pending refunds. Now, the tour was actually set to start September the 17th, which is right around the corner. And it was going to include major U.S. cities before continuing into Europe. No updates. No updates for anyone have been posted on any of the Fuji's fan pages or Lauren Hill's social media. And she is being attacked, 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 attacked by different fans, leaving a lot of different comments. One person put... It's so disheartening being a fan of Lauryn Hill. Last October, an hour before the show in Dallas, it was canceled with no warning. I tried again to run even when everyone clowned me saying I was foolish for trying. Cancel it again. I love Lauryn, man, but damn, do better. Bought Lauryn Hill tickets, and about 15 minutes later, she canceled her tour. God is pointing and laughing at me. Someone else puts, I cannot make this S up. Every time I buy a Lauryn Hill ticket, she cancels. And those was just a few few a drop in a bucket of the mean nasty comments that people made about lauren hill and they got a right to do that i'll be honest with you back to the story i went to go see lauren and i got it recorded i can't play it obviously but i this maybe like five years ago i went to go see her in camden with um nas and it was just something off like she couldn't she wasn't finishing her songs some of the stuff sound like gibberish I don't know if she was having contractual issues or something where she couldn't, like, somebody own the rights to her music or... But it was just, oh, it just... Nas obviously killed it. But it wasn't like... You expect to go to Lauryn Hill show and be vibing out, crying sometimes, laughing, jamming, all that. Her music makes you go through all those ranges of emotions. But, I, you know, it's one of the things that should be studied. Like the downfall of Lauryn Hill. Like you mean, you mean, I mean that miseducation of Lauryn Hill was one of the greatest, not just hip hop or R and B albums, one of the greatest albums of all time. Like what is what it meant for the industry, what it meant for even black people. Like, could you imagine if Fifty Lauryn Hills would have been birthed instead of Fifty Little Kims, Fifty Nicki Minaj's, right? Could you imagine? Like it might just be a little bit better for us. Our rate vibration might be just a little bit higher. You know, we might, you know, have people wanting to rock dreadlocks in natural hair as opposed to wigs and straight. I mean, I'm just saying, like, that's the type of influence that type of that that music had. And to see her just kind of lose interest in the industry, you know, music. She had Zion and all that, and you know, it was great. You take time off, but like, you never really got that resurgence like we all wanted. And um, I would love to sit down and ask Lauren about that. I mean, she done stuff here there. She talked about it, but I would love to really pick her brain and just talk about the time. All right, so you release the miseducation of Lauryn Hill. You're the biggest thing popping. Next thing you know, nothing. So is it like, I'm sure a lot of it has to do with the industry. I'm sure, Matter of fact, I got an idea. I got an idea. But anyway, I'm sure a lot of it has to do with the industry and some things that she experienced in the industry um, that made her not really want to. Something turned her off. Something turned Lauren off about this industry. Because she was just too intelligent, too bright, too talented not to can really continue on. Now, she did a little after her debut, but it wasn't like 
the same. It didn't hit. And not to say that she would ever, you know, duplicate that first album because few artists can. But she had so much magic left. So much magic. So this this sucks. This sucks being a huge fan of Lauryn Hill. It sucks for the fans that continuously get canceled on, continue continuously, you know, are just disappointed each and every time they put their faith in Lauren. You know? It's it I don't know, is it me? Or does she seem like she's different? Now if you want to talk clone, she this may be what cause she's different. And I could put that album on right now and vibe. Right? I can vibe top to bottom, bottom bottom to top. So, look, I'm still rooting for Lauren. Love the Fugees. Hopefully they can, you know, rectify the situation and actually do a world. You know how great that would be for the Fugees? You know, that shit going to be sold out everywhere. For them to actually do a world tour. Like, I mean, it's, it'd be amazing. Like, I would even go see it. You know, and a few artists that I, that I like listening to now, she's one of them. She's one of them. So look, I appreciate y'all listening in. Um, y'all have a good day. Y'all have a good day. Good night. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button on this video. It's your brother, Oh God, man. Hip hop news uncensored. Leave a comment below what y'all think. Peace.